Now we have come to uh, another important part of today's meeting, which is ask the judges. We have a minimum of three judges here with us. You can ask any questions uh, from them that could even help you in how you prepare uh, the final uh, submission. So be, the first question, um, just uh, simple is one, um, are we still receiving applications or is it closed? So applications have closed. This competition is, uh, um, is going to be annual. That, that is the idea. So if you couldn't um, submit an application before the call ended, uh, there'll be an opportunity when this competition happens again. So we are not receiving um, any uh, applications. Uh, it closed on the 1st of December. And those that the applications have been selected have already been contacted. I'm going to direct this question to Professor Fakinledi. Can any software other than Autodex um, software for the projects to uh, be used for the projects? Thank you. The answer, the short answer is yes, you can. But if you go, but you must submit in Fusion 360 uh, format wherever there is such a format for what you are submitting because we are going to work, we are doing all our work in the Autodesk ecosystem. But if you do not use the Autodesk uh, product, I'm sure you immediately know that you are ineligible for the Autodesk prize or for even if your work contains a lot of uh, solid modeling. So that is the thing. It is not a hopeless case. Uh, we don't know our, our platform is still open for other sponsors. For instance, suppose you are using uh, SolidWorks, uh, SolidWorks might be hearing us now. So they might come and say they are supporting a prize. Yeah, well, that, in that case, we give you that prize if that's what you used. So that is it. Right now, where the only requirement is that the submission type of file must be a Fusion 360. So you must convert your file to a Fusion 360 file wherever possible. And then if you want to be in, if you want to be eligible for prizes given by a particular category supporter, then you must do, you must use the things that are expected in that area. That's just what I would say. But uh, there's no, we are not banning you from using other uh, packages. Thank you, Prof. Thank you for answering that. And um, that answer is also available in our FAQ. Um, next question is a general question. I'm going to direct it to Dr. Adegbola, uh, the chairman of S2P Africa. As attendees of this particular info session, are asking if they can have the slides from the presenters. Uh, for example, I know that there were a lot of details and I know that the people here need to think about some of the things that our speakers shared. And they are asking if they can have um, the slides. Um, Thank you. you? The, the, uh, all the uh, previous info sessions we have had, we have recordings and we have placed materials from these info sessions on our website. So in that principle, you can be sure that you will have access to everything that uh, our presenters have uh, made available today. The slides would definitely be available to anybody who is interested in having the Thank you. Uh, this next question, I'm going to direct it to uh, Emmanuel. When is the template, template for submission going to be available to the uh, applicants, those that have been selected? Uh, thank you, Dr. Adeomi. So uh, to answer that question, we will be sending that out in a week's time uh, to eligible uh, submissions. Okay. Thank you. And I just want to emphasize that usually we send out newsletters that contain this important information. And also I know that on the WhatsApp group that information will be sent and that will also be on the website. So there are three major places where you can find information that relates to this template um, being available. One, there'll be a newsletter that tells you that it is up. Two, it's going to be on the website. And three, I know that information is going to be posted on the WhatsApp group. There's also a possibility that all our social media platforms on Twitter, Instagram, um, and on Facebook, you are also going to receive this information. So uh, just follow us um, on, on any of the social media platforms and also join uh, the WhatsApp group. 
the newsletter that went out and the recent, most recent one had um, that information. If you didn't get it, please send an email to, I want the admin to please uh, kindly type it. It's also on the screen, edc at s2pafrica.org. So if you've not, um, you didn't see that newsletter, uh, you don't know how to join the WhatsApp group, please send an email to edc at s2pafrica.org. So it's possible that you have missed out on um, uh, the newsletters we've been sending out and you can be added to that mail. Okay, thank you. Quickly, I'm going to direct uh, this question to Mr. Uh, Julian Invaque. Can Autodex give free trial to access more features uh, on platforms like Autodex Vision 360, like uh, the generative design for those that are working with that for this competition. Participants here already have the education license, but it seems as if there are things that they want to do that maybe that license is not going to enable them to do it. So will they be able to have a free trial or there's um, an information on how to get a free trial they can use for the purpose of this competition? Okay, I thank you. I know that the generative um, design is only available on commercial licenses, okay. right? How, however, um, less, uh, we'll have to get back, I'll have to get back or my team will have to get back to, um, to you on this particular question. I'm not um, saying that um, it's not, but it's very possible because um, there are, I've seen competitions in the past where something like this came up, but it has to be uh, for a specific amount of students who indicate their interest and their data will have to be collected and then transferred to our educational team who will grant that access for only the period of the competition. I know something like this has happened in the past, so um, but I will have to go back to the team and you know, also with your own support as well, definitely. Um, We'll have to go back to the team and then you know make that request thank you so much once we have information um on this we would let you know and we'll put that also uh in our mails and all our platforms so that those that need it can access that information as someone's asking about using autodesk eagles for circuit related pro uh, projects i want you to know that if you are using any autodex products you can use any Autodex product. Autodex is one of the sponsors of this competition. And Autodex already has a price also that they put forward. So you can use any Autodex product for this competition. Quick question, but I want Professor Fakilede to answer this first. It seems like a new section concerning a business model has been added. How much of an emphasis will be placed on this? Seeing a lot of the work will be done on the engineering design side of things. So how much emphasis will be placed on the business model part of the submission as against the engineering design side of the submission? Well, I think I would just say, we will give you more information on that as we get it. Okay. That's, that's okay. the best thing I can say. Okay. Okay, moving on to the uh, next question. I think I, I would direct this question to Dr. Adebola. What are we submitting to the judges? <laughs> so this question is saying, uh, we've presented a final submission template, but we have a question saying, what are we submitting to the judges? I suspect the question was asked before Manuel made his presentation. Okay. And I want to believe the question has been answered by Manuel's presentation. But basically, uh, what you are supposed to submit are those items that Emmanuel has uh, highlighted, your five minutes video, which gives the judges an opportunity to, to have an idea of what you are trying to do from your own perspective, because you will have shown some images of what you are trying to do. If, if there are uh, situations in which there are transitions in what you are doing, the video allows you to show these transitions and that's why we decided to give that opportunity for you to show the video. So having shown the video, then you now go into the details of how you achieved what you achieved, the designs, the theories you used, uh, the difficulties you had and all that, and all that has been uh, um, uh, provided for in the various five to six units in what uh, Emmanuel presented as what you are supposed to submit. 
uh, you are not submitting directly to the judges, you are submitting to us, we, uh, and we are transferring these to the judges. I hope that helps. That. Thank you so much. What are the competition prospects for those working on material research rather than design-based products? What are the competition prospects for those working on material research rather than design-based products? Are they in any way handicapped compared to their counterparts who focused on design as per competition rules? I, I just want to just refer to the name of this competition. This is a design competition. So, so if definitely this competition is about design. So if you are doing anything with materials and it is not about design, then this competition is not what you are looking at. So that is just all I would say about that. So if you are doing material research, this is not a competition of material research. It's a competition on engineering design. Thank you very much, Prof. Concerning the age requirement, the age requirement is strictly 18 to 25. So if you have a team member that is not um, in that age, please send uh, an email to edc at edcatetopiafrica.org if you want to submit maybe a new team list or but we have to stick to the competition rules. The age is 18 to 25. Uh, we, we are aware that as a result of um, maybe strikes and all that, we have uh, some people that might actually have exceeded uh, 25, but that would have to be something taken into advisement. So you have to send that email and we have to look at it, but we are not taking anyone above 25 um, for this competition. If you want to make that request, please send an email to edc at stpafrica.org. I want to tell our uh, competitors to know that you can continue reaching us through many of the, get, get information through many of the things that have already been posted, many of the links that have already been posted in addition to sending us emails as you have been directed. I'm happy to, uh, to invite uh, Professor Michael Faborundi, former Vice Chancellor of Obafemi Awolo University, who is one of the judges in this competition. Thank you for the opportunity to uh, intervene. I see that the session has been very, very useful. And I think uh, a number of the uh, design competitors who have gained a lot of insights into what they have to do. Um, where I'm intervening is on the issue of the business model that um, uh, some people are trying to uh, probe deeply into. Um, I, I think the essence of the business model is for engineering students to be able to link their design with the real world, with uh, you know, business ethics and things. So uh, what they can then do is to search for assistance on how to understand what this uh, implies. I know there's enough information in the template, but I mean, it is clear for them to be able to source for additional information from friends, from peers, uh, and, and so on. And, and so I, I think the information you have given is adequate, but they can help themselves. That's the essence of design. I mean, their dexterity, how they can be very creative and innovative. And, and this is what this is uh, attesting. And they have to understand that, I mean, for any design that is, um, I mean, a real world, a business aspect that they must also try to understand. That's why. Uh, students have to take courses in engineering management and, and, and so on. So that's just uh, my contribution. Thank you. Thanks very much, Prof. This may be new to many students. Uh, the idea of uh, this level of emphasis on design itself may be new, as well as uh, talking about the business model may be new. But the reality is that once you leave the effort doors of the university and you stop solving the Navier Stokes equations and many of the things that you needed to emphasize to get your degrees, you discover that uh, the real world is not about uh, those uh, complicated equations only. You, those are just an input into who you are in the in ability to intervene in society. So this is your uh, first check on reality, first reality check. So uh, as Prof. Papa already has told you, you have the time now to go and find information on this and try and do something about your uh, business model. Uh, you're welcome, Dr. Ebola, my chairman. And thank you very much. Let me just uh, put in one, one word about the business model also, that uh, our students should start getting used to the fact that it is not marks that you get as a reward for good work. You are used to getting marks 
for doing good work, but that is not what the, the world does not mark you like you are marked in the university. So you are now going to be assessed on how useful your work it we uh, your work is. We have said it over and over again, and this is one of the beliefs and the understanding we have in S2P Africa that have uh, propelled the work we are doing, that every question that technology answers is raised by culture. And if you are presenting anything that does not solve problems created by culture or answer questions raised by the local culture, the local environment, the local reality, then uh, you, you need to readjust that uh, it, it's like uh, Professor Faknedi said, it's reality time. Marks are not the reward for good work. I just wish all the competitors, all the aspirants, all the best. And um, we, are, we are so happy to have been able to create this uh, network, the, 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 this uh, uh, circuit that we believe will be the beginning of us young people in Nigeria looking very, very critically at, the, uh, at our environment and solving problems so that Nigeria shifts from the present position we are in now in which we just seem to be one of, we just seem to be a, 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 a subsidizer of the education to the world. We put a lot of money in training young people and immediately after graduation, they go abroad to go and uh, work. And it sounded like we are subsidizing the world's education. We want to shift from there, make the education we are doing our young people to benefit uh, Africa, to benefit Nigeria, to benefit our immediate environment. Thank you very much. It's been an exciting day. Thanks. Uh, and before we go, another one of our judges wants to make a comment. Uh, Dr. Andreas Putz uh, from Vancouver is going, to, is going to have the floor now. Um, as, the, as the topic of the business model has come up repeatedly, um, so for small businesses, what I found really helpful is just to go through the business model canvas. And if you Google business model canvas, you will find tons of resources there on the internet. But basically, it tells you going through who your key partners are going to be, what your key activities are, but really homing in on what value you provide. And as we discussed here before, one of the values we are specifically looking for is localization and also falling into the other categories. Uh, but the business model canvas is a really nice method to kind of put everything concisely onto a page. So if you start with that, I think that will fulfill already a lot of the requirements we are looking for. Thank you, uh, Dr. Putz, for that uh, comment. I hope that was useful.